On Sunday, just a few days ago, we learned of the devastating loss of Kelvin Kiptum and his coach, Gervais Hakijimana. At just 24 years of age, Kelvin had already been fated as one of the greatest marathon runners the world has ever seen. In October last year, in what was just his third marathon, Kelvin showed everyone exactly what he was capable of and took an astonishing 34 seconds off the world record time, clocking two hours and 35 seconds. We were privileged to enjoy Kelvin's company at our awards ceremony in December, during which he took time to sit down and share his thoughts with us on that world record-breaking performance in Chicago and, sadly, his future ambitions. We feel it is right to share these historic and poignant words with the Kenyan nation, the World Athletics family, and all those who admired this remarkable young man. Kelvin, you achieved greatness and inspired us all. We will miss you dearly. My name is Kelvin Kiptum. I'm from Kenya. I'm a marathon runner and the current world record holder. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was my first time uh, to be in uh, Chicago. Uh, I was feeling okay uh, and I was ready for the race. Uh, in fact, that day uh, I was like going to for my personal best uh, and to break the course record. At that moment I was feeling good, feeling strong. I was feeling relaxed. Yeah. Uh, towards the halfway, my body was okay. Uh, I was telling the pacemaker, just let's uh, still push. It was a little bit slow, but it was good. Uh, that time I was trying to try myself to push the pace because it was a little bit slow. Uh, and that time the pacemaker could not keep up with the pace. So that's where I, I tried to move. Uh, in fact, uh, I was with my, my friend Daniel Mateko, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, we help each other through uh, that kilometer, and he was very strong, so I think we were helping each other. Uh, at the moment, I was feeling like uh, I was going to run fast. Uh, towards past 30 kilometers, uh, I, where, that's where I normally break through, and try to focus on the race, to run fast. Yeah, that's uh, towards uh, 35 kilometers. Uh, I was, I was, uh, my mind was telling me you're gonna run fast, maybe you're gonna run a world record. So that's, that moment I tried to, to push a lot uh, towards the finish line. My, when I was in 38, uh, uh, I knew I was inside the world record, so I was trying to maintain the pace uh, and the crowd uh, were cheering me, keep going, keep going, so I was feeling strong and keep on moving, yeah. Uh, I think there it was almost one, one kilometer to go. There I knew I was running, I was going to run a world record, so I maintained. My body was good, I was feeling relaxed. Yeah, and that was my biggest time there. Uh, there, uh, I think there was a, a little bit hilly. Uh, so I was trying to maintain. It was very tough, but I tried myself to push hard. Uh, I think now it was almost 400 meters to go. Try to smile a little bit to keep my mind fresh. <laughs> yes, and that's where I, 
I was feeling okay. Now I turned the left corner, like 200 meters to go, I saw the finish line. I tried to push, to kick. I was like, uh, maybe to run uh, under two, uh, maybe two hours, 10, 15. But to, I was feeling like I'm gonna not make it. But that time I was, I was happy seeing the clock in front of me. I to be the first man to run and uh, two hours one. Yes, I was feeling happy. Yeah. There was the celebration with the race organizer. I was feeling so exhausted and I was, I was happy. Yeah. Can't imagine uh, to run a world record. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Go see. My friend there was at the finish line. I was going to say hi from Kenya, I think, yes. And today my, my flag, country flag, celebrate. I think that was my biggest moment in Chicago. Yeah. I've started preparing for Rotterdam. Uh, I think I'm going Rotterdam for my second time. I've been there. It's a flat course. Uh, I really enjoyed, and I was looking forward to come back. Uh, I think Rotterdam. I'm going to try my best to maybe to beat my personal best. That's a world record. I think that's my my focus now to run fast. When I grew up, uh, Paul Tergat at that time was a famous athlete in Kenya. He won some gold medal, yeah. So I, I was like, uh, one day, one time, maybe me too. I got compete, start training, and win some medals for Kenya. Uh, I think Olympics is in my mind again. It's a big goal. Uh, after Rotterdam, I'm, I'll go back home, train again. Uh, if I get a chance to be selected by the Federation of Kenya, I'm going to represent my country and to fight for any medal. I think there we are going as many. Everybody is prepared, so anything can happen. But I'm preparing for any medal, I'll be okay. <laughs>